Okay, right now, I'm actually with a gangster right now. <laughs> I've never been next to a gangster. You never been? Never, never I'm ever. Lying, Arnold. Arnold's lying. <laughs> okay, so my, what you're doing is you're, you're raising the conscience by going to a, a nearby town. Yes. Why, why are you doing vegan? What made you go a uh, vegan roll? Why are you over cafe? It's a lot of work. It is. Okay. It's a lot so of work. You're good. Okay. Right. Uh, for, for me, I had, um, f about four, five years ago, um, I had a rock bottom point in my life. I was living a, a crazy rock star lifestyle. You're uh, a rock star? Yes. I was making close to a million dollars a You're year. You're making a million dollars? Yes, yes, a year. Singing? Uh, no, I had my own t-shirt company. Yeah, your own t-shirt Yeah, company. for nine years. Um, yeah. I had all the cars, I had all the women, all you the had money. You all the cars, all, all the, the women. houses, fast Everything. money, fast women. This is fast rock fast bottom fast. now. Everything. No, I want that life. This is before rock bottom. <laughs> so I hit rock bottom and I lost all that stuff. You lost everything. Everything. I wasn't yeah. homeless. I was homeless. living in a car, I was living in a, uh, in a gym. We're doing this I together. Was, <laughs> yeah. I was, I, was, I, was, I lost everything and I tried to keep my sanity at that point and at that pivotal turning point in my life I stopped things. I, I stopped drinking the sugary drinks, I stopped smoking cigarettes, I stopped uh, eating Funyuns, Snickers, Reese's, ah. cheese steaks. Uh, one by one I started knocking things out and it led me to this long, year-long journey of veganism but midway through I was walking, I was forced to walk, um, I was walking 10 miles a day and somebody had gave me my first fresh pressed juice <laughs> Is that right? at 29 years old. Yeah. It wasn't Minute Maid, it wasn't Tropicana, it wasn't Simply Orange. It was a They stop you when you're walking? I, no, this brand new restaurant had opened up in downtown LA and it was so beautiful. Right. And so it looked like an $80 million mm -hmm. restaurant. And I was intimidated to go in there because at that point I was homeless. And I just went in just looking around and some gravitated to the bar in the morning. And I started talking to this young guy working there, and I asked him what he was doing, and he said he was making juices. And he gave me my first organic, fresh pressed orange juice. Wow. And it, it changed my life. It changed your um, life. Yeah, and I went there every day. Every day. I walked 10 miles, and he would give me free juices. Every day. He started giving me different flavors, yeah, and they started giving me life force again. Right. Um, and from there, I started questioning everything I was doing wow. um, from my deodorant to my toothpaste wow. to the food I was eating. Wow. To what's in this bag of chips and wow. so fast forward to now um, I well I was in LA and I was going to all these different vegan restaurants right. and I was bumping my rap music you know uh, smoking marijuana yeah. tatted up and people were like oh you don't look vegan you know <laughs> in their conscious community it was very hippie it was very um, no shoes on you know dreadlock and they were like you don't look vegan you don't talk vegan you don't look vegan <laughs> so i created gangster vegan oh wow and i really dug deep into my passion um at first it was just changing my food and i had a spiritual awakening and i i dove deep into my passion and now i actually um moving in a juice bar and you know, juice now. bar you give out fruit juices everyone yeah, <laughs> yeah no, i would wish i wish hey homeless uh, got a place yeah, for you <laughs> but i i do i did start gangster vegan um the brand and what we right. do is we take proceeds from our t-shirts and we go into inner city schools and we feed uh, inner city children organic vegan meals. Wow. Uh, so I've been doing that in Compton, Crenshaw, in California, uh, wow. West Philly, wow. South Philly, North wow. Philly. Um, so that that's a, a separate entity, but I, I am opening a juice bar in Narstown, Pennsylvania. That's right. my hometown where right. I grew up. What's the name of the place? Uh, it's Gangster Vegan oh, Organics. Right. Wow. Yeah. 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 Everything is all organic. Yeah, wow. it's going to be in Narstown. It'll be open in about four or five weeks wow. on uh, Main Street near Trooper Road. Oh, it's very good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Please come through. Yeah. Um, but people like yourself have inspired me along this right. journey. Right. Of, you know, taking the knowledge. Um, you know, the older, the older. Um, older. <laughs> no, older, the wiser. You know what I mean? The 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 wiser um, yeah. mentors of this. You know, yeah. so so I'm like a, a middle ground. You know, I like cause, that because you have a lot of years of knowledge. That I can take from, that I could go give that to the kids, you know, things wow, like that. Wow, I like that a lot. So, so, and I just try to make it fun, hip, like, yeah. and gangster to eat this way. Yeah, yeah. Cause like she said over there, I have two boys. I'm trying to tell them they're not listening. They're not gonna listen to you, mom. Yeah, you know what I mean? I but they might listen to to a gangster vegan right. or you know. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They don't listen to me. Actually, it's my daughter over there. <laughs> <laughs> It takes a while. Yeah. You just gotta be the light, and then the others kind of follow. Yeah, they gravitate. They gravitate. I mean, I do my thing every day. What I do is, uh, 
I wrote kids' books, I wrote movies, songs, I uh, do a lot of videos. It's beautiful. So, you know, but I know it's a, it's a long, long journey. It is, it is. And you gotta do the best you can and just don't worry about it. Don't awesome. worry about it. Awesome, thank you. Every day is a blessed moment. I really, really am inspired by it. Thank you, man. This is the original it. gangster yeah. thing right yeah. here, man. It took yeah. me 23 years over here, man. This yeah. Is a beautiful place and it's a beautiful thing what you're yeah. doing, aren't yeah. you? You know, right. keep doing it, you're inspired. So you're gonna be, what you're, you're gonna be in Norris, Norris Town? In Norris Town. We're at? It's a uh, 2454 West Ridge Pike. 2454 five, four, five, four, West West Ridge Pike. In Norristown. Norristown. Okay, I got that. I was just by there yesterday. Awesome. And you'll be open up. Yes, we will be open. And then what you do is you're going to get part of the proceeds, you go to different schools and get Well, yeah, uh, I'm starting a non for profit also. Um, yeah. Well, we're going to start doing things in the community uh, in Norristown. I want to start doing a, a free dinner for kids at the school program where we serve all organic wow. vegan meals. Oh, I love that. You know, like a quinoa bowl with oh, yeah. sauteed kale, yeah. some sauce on there, and things like that. You gotta make sure. That, from my experience, I go to schools a lot. Banana whips and smoothies. Yeah, yeah. Oh, killer. That's all I do when I go to school. Killer. We do banana strawberry. Banana strawberry. Dates, right. you know, with the water and the hemp right. seeds. You know, right. you know how it is. Yeah, that that will work. Yeah, cause the, the the kids love that sweet. Yeah. And they love to create too. So when they're helping make oh, good. it, then they're gonna eat it. Let know? me know. I'll go there with you. Awesome. Okay. I would love that. I would love that. Yeah. Yes. Thanks to vegan, we gotta yeah. fight to eat right. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, this is life from Arnold's way. You want to say anything, Joy? No. Oh, no. Okay. <laughs> okay. I'm with the second guys. Bye. Bye. Bye.